Hello gamers, I'm NKZL and in this video I wanted to talk about an upcoming MMORPG that has personally surprised me and I think a lot of other people. An MMO that initially appeared to be just a WoW clone and now it might end up being much more than that. I'm talking about Terrace Land. I don't know if what it has to offer will be enough, but I will share with you what I know and you can let me know in the comments below if this will be enough for you to give it a try or not. Before all that, I want to take just a moment to thank all the returning subscribers for being here. Thank you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I cover a variety of online gaming topics with a focus on MMORPGs. So, if you enjoy my content and think that would be something of interest to you, consider subscribing. Alright, so what is Terrace Land? It's a theme park MMORPG. A lot of people called it a WoW clone and for good reason. This usually refers to the content available and the delivery method for this content, which is gameplay. And in this case, it is extremely similar to WoW. From the very start of the questing experience, doing main quest and side quest and moving through zones, gaining reputation and all that is just like WoW. The same goes for both PvE and PvP. PvE having 5-man dungeons and 10-man raids, while PvP will have arenas and battlegrounds. It does not have massive 20 or 40-man raids, but they have mentioned they are considering them for the future. Personally, I think groups with more than 10 people end up subtracting from the PvE experience, but some people really like being part of something bigger than themselves. You can also expect all the other elements that you find in WoW, and I feel like most MMORPG gamers probably tried WoW at some point, so they will be familiar with this, and it is pointless to go into details about the multitude of systems available. Of course, this is not unique to WoW. All theme park MMORPGs deliver content this way. But the almost identical way this game delivers content, coupled with the graphics, it will make you feel very similar to how WoW makes you feel. It is clear that this game will be aiming for the same audience as WoW, and honestly, considering the poor quality of development that we have seen from WoW in the past 10 years, it would probably have quite a few fans disappointed with WoW trying it out, and because of this, I will be drawing some comparisons between them. So, you might ask yourself, why would you be interested in playing this over WoW when they are so similar? The answer is very simple, because it's not just a WoW clone. It takes all those elements of gameplay that have been trialed and tested and improves on this. I've seen many people say WoW clone as a negative, and it should not be. WoW was a great game back in its day, and it was a game that many developers should have learned from, both from what they did well and what they failed at. The most effective way to achieve progress is to build upon what our predecessors did. Imagine if we had to start from scratch in every domain for the sake of being original. We would still be stuck in caves trying to light fires in the most ridiculous ways. So let's first talk about what this game does better than WoW and why we might be interested in playing it. The first thing you will notice is the graphics. They clearly follow the same graphical style, but they are simply next level compared to WoW. From the textures to the polygon count, everything is simply better. It will be a much better experience from a visual standpoint. Some might say that WoW is an old game and it's good looking for how old it is, and I completely disagree. MMORPGs are games offered as live services. There is no satisfactory excuse for a AAA developer to not update their engine to keep up with the times. Especially when they expect us to keep spending money on their games, even more so when these live services are subscription based. The other reason is content updates. Terrace Land will focus on providing content in a seasonal format. This means a few dungeons and raids every season. It's unclear how long will seasons last, but if we judge by how other MMOs that offer seasonal content do things, I think it's safe to assume a few months. This is becoming standard in the industry and developers in general are improving their content delivery speeds. Nevertheless, it's still something that needs to be mentioned because if we enjoy a game, we want to enjoy it for as long as possible and quick content updates make that more likely to be the case. Another positive that needs to be mentioned is that this game does not have a forced subscription, and instead they will have a battle pass system with only cosmetic content in the paid section. 
No for subscription, no expansion cost, none of that crap. That means that you can play and enjoy the game regardless of how much you choose to invest. And of course, like almost all MMORPGs before release, they said there will be no pay to win. This is left to be seen. The last positive that I wanted to talk about is the lack of add-ons. The game will have in-build add-ons, but external add-ons are strictly forbidden, and personally I couldn't be happier about this. I see allowing add-ons as one of the laziest thing an MMORPG developer can do, and it massively subtracts from my opinion of developers that allow this in MMORPGs. Don't get me wrong, I believe that community work is great, but it needs to be double-checked and implemented for everyone if the developers decide it's good enough to be part of their game, and of course, those that make these add-ons should be paid something for their work, like Warframe does with their community skins. The next element that I wanted to mention is something that is usually controversial. This game will be cross-platform with mobile, Personally, I see this as a positive. Phone and mobile consoles nowadays are just as powerful as laptops, and honestly, whenever developers make features that bring together gamers from multiple platforms, I see this as a massive win for us as gamers. For those of you worried about this, there are entirely different clients for mobile and PC, so do not worry about having a mobile game UI and stuff like that. This cross-platform availability might come with some other things that might be seen as a negative. The combat side of the game will have less skills to use, which does reduce the complexity of the game, so hopefully talents, gear and other elements of the game will offer that level of depth that an MMORPG requires to not become stale. That being said, in MMORPGs recently we have seen a lot more focus on having less abilities rather than filling two free bars with skills, like we used to do in the past. It's up to each of us to decide how we feel about it, personally I'm alright with either option, both have their benefits. We also have to mention the negatives, and the first one is something that all MMORPGs will have. By comparison with MMOs that have been already on the market for some time, they will always have less content and this is inevitable. We can only hope that content delivered at release and the seasonal updates will be able to deliver enough content to keep us entertained. Another problem that the game has is the gender and race lock classes. I understand why this is being done and some of you might like it. Personally, I see it as a massive negative. I want to play my character, and being forced to play as a female does not sit well with me. A lot of other people also voiced their complaints when it comes to this, and the community manager have said that the developers are aware of this complaint. This, however, does not mean they are going to do something about it. Personally, I hope they do remove the gender lock. This is what I wanted to share with you. I think Terrace Land does look quite promising, the gameplay is pretty fun and to me it very much looks and plays like what I expected Duo to be. I don't know if this fun will last for months and the game is still in development so some things might change before release, but I do look forward to it and I will definitely give it a try. So what do you think of Terrace Land? If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and like. See you in the next one, gamers.